Yeah, you know, for the most part, it was a peaceful day of uh, protesting, mostly because uh, most of the people here were supporters of Donald Trump. There was only one nonviolent incident involving a man we happened to interview hours after he was, or rather hours before he was put into handcuffs. Let's show you some of this video of what we're talking about. Let's show you uh, this man whose name is Dominic. He's wearing a white and black pinstripe prison outfit. He leaped off the sidewalk toward the former president's motorcade and Mr. Trump's vehicle as he left the courthouse. The Secret Service swooped in, tackled him to the ground, and put him in cuffs. Earlier, he was walking around with a sign that said, arrest him, referring, of course, to Donald Trump. That caused quite a commotion out here because he was outnumbered by Trump supporters. He called them a cult and continued to blast him. They swarmed him and followed him around, yelling names at him and blurting for profanities until police came and broke it up. Here's what he had to say earlier before he was cuffed and before the scuffle with the crowd. Why are you here? I'm here to see Donald Trump locked up once and for all. He's got away with a lot. He should have been locked up long, long time ago. Uh, what do you think? You're like one of a few people out here that are not a, for Trump. Yeah, I'm a minority. I've been spit on. I've been called nasty names. I've been called a communist. And you, you know what? I'm alone. But it, it's okay. The, the reality is sticks and stones. But you know what? He's a con artist. He got away with it. And he became the president. He's a con artist? Yeah. How, how, does it feel, uh, how does it feel to be outnumbered here today and being one of the few people here that are uh, against Trump? Well, I mean, they got to wake up. This is a cult. You're talking about a cult. He is like Hitler. He has them under his spell. He's a master graduate from the school of New York. He's a master con artist. All right, so a lot of questions now being raised after that incident when he jumped in front of the motorcade, how he was able to get so close. There were no hardened barriers to keep people from accessing the street that the motorcade was on. What if he had a gun? Some people were speculating. This could have ended up being a must work situation, so the Miami Police Department might have to be reviewing their security protocols. There are no hardened barricades. People were allowed to cross the street except for a little bit of protection from officers that were on motorcycles. So that is the very latest here from inside the courthouse, uh, outside the courthouse. Jackie, back to you.